some cunt like being underestimated. And they, they can't Google my name because it's too hard to search. <laughs> so I'm, I'm good. Maybe that's why <laughs> they just had no fucking clue. Oh. It's your bandito Carlitos coming at you with another breakdown. This week we take a look at Owen O'Flanagan. If you don't know Owen, he had a great showing at ADCC last year, winning the 2021 Euro Trials. In short, he's your favorite grappler's favorite grappler. Known mostly for his leg locks, but today we're going to focus on his butterfly half guard. And it all starts here. Owen on one side, keeping his top knee in front of his opponent's shoulder, using his bottom leg to hook his opponent into a half guard. Also important to note, this position will typically start with the opponent having inside elbow positioning on the top thigh, and that the first priority is to pummel that top foot over the opponent's arm, getting the shin in front of the bicep to neutralize the threat of the underhook and just getting flattened out. That just leaves us with the cross face to defend. Owen likes to take a scoop grip underneath the opponent's tricep and walk his fingers underneath the opponent's chin with his other hand, connecting them together to isolate the shoulder for the choy bar. And if the opponent chooses to control the wrist over the cross face, Owen will use a slick grip fighting combo to get in deep for his scoop grip. Let's take a closer look. He gets his wrist free by attacking the arm drag, grabbing the elbow on the inside, pulling away and establishing wrist control on the outside in the process. Next, he brings both hands down to the wrist, holding the opponent in place as he pummels the outside hand in, reaching for the scoop grip. With his hands together and forearm underneath the opponent's chin, he can now create enough space to get his knee in front of the opponent's head. This allows Owen to swing that leg over his opponent's back, placing his foot in front of the chest to roll the opponent for the choy bar. Yeah, it really only takes one of those to make your opponent go, fuck that, I'm getting the underhook bringing us to the next threat in our dilemma. As the opponent dives in on the underhook, we can see Owen point his toes and putting the ball of his foot on his opponent's hip before sliding that foot in for a butterfly hook. Once he has that butterfly hook, we can see the full picture here. He has the butterfly hook, he has the leg crawl on the bottom, he's also reaching for that far leg just in case his opponent wants to get a little froggy and feel some of that choy bar action one more time. And if the opponent persists with the underhook, that's perfectly fine because this gives Owen a clear path to the legs. That path starts with this frame here. A 45 degree angle frame underneath the opponent's chin. This accomplishes a few different things, but the most important being, it keeps Owen's left shoulder off of the mat, preventing him from being pinned or flattened out. The next thing that frame does is allow Owen to shift his opponent's weight forward as he inverts closer towards their hips for the leg lock entry. With his grips in place, that frame turns into a stiff arm, and from this position, we have a few different options based on our opponent's reaction. If our opponent tries to step high over our knee on the same side as their underhook, this exposes a typical ashigarami and a, or a potential backstep. All right, this shit, wow. So Zhangji tries to step over Owen's knee shield. Owen sees that shit coming, grabs his leg from underneath in preparation for an ashigarami backstep. Zhangji senses this, brings his knee back down, but as he does so, Owen brings his right foot to the outside so that all he needs to do is invert slightly to his right shoulder, extend that bottom right leg, and then bam, we got a Kani Basami. The Choi Bar countering the cross face and the Kani Basani countering the underhook make for a rather difficult dilemma to deal with even for the most seasoned guard passers. Against John Blank, this did open up attacks from open guard, but at Polaris 24, this did work a little too well with Hunter Colvin being very hesitant to engage in Owen's guard. And Owen only really having these two entries to show for.
my picks for who you should face next would either be Jason Rao or Lucas Hulk Barbosa. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Follow me at Bandito Carlitos 10P on IG. Let me know who you'd like to see me cover next down below. Peace!